Hey y'all, we're Blackjack Billy, and you're sitting down with countrymusicrocks.net. So we're sitting down with Bigger Picture Recording Group Blackjack Billy. You guys have been on the road, coast to coast, and everywhere in between, promoting your new single, the EP. For folks that are still getting to know you, tell us a little bit about yourselves and give us a little Blackjack Billy 101. Who wants to go, guys? Wow. You go first, Jeff. We'll go, Is we'll this go school? <laughs> Um, we've been out on the road for about a little over a year and a half right now, just road dogging, having a great time. Um, we all met as songwriters in Nashville. Uh, had so much fun writing that we did it on a regular basis and got enough songs together to play a show and did a couple shows and we were like, all right, let's do this for real. Let's you know, go out and start winning over one fan at a time. It's been it's been awesome. I'm so good. Maybe you should just answer all the questions. That was Jeff Copeland, and yeah. Blackjack Billy approved that message. <laughs> Jeff Copeland. Yeah. Um, so you guys recently released your new single, Get Some, to Country Radio. Give us a little bit of background on that song and tell us about the single. Uh, we wrote Get Some in Key West um, after we had played. Uh, I guess it was partic a particularly enthusiastic show. <laughs> Um, on our part or the audience? Uh, well, it must have been from the audience's part. Me, uh, I guess Noel got off stage or somebody got off stage and was like, man, they were really getting some tonight, you know? And we uh, kind of were like, ding, ding, wait, 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 wait. And we had tossed around the phrase for a while, man, you know, get some, get some. And, and uh, sometimes maybe the, uh, the most commonly used phrases can make some of the more, more interesting songs. How was it? That's a good sound bite, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it was good as Jeff. <laughs> we're, all, we're all trying hard. He set the bar high. Yeah. He did. He always does. Yeah. Um, now, you guys recently released the debut EP. For folks that haven't picked up the EP yet, how would you best describe those five songs? Fun. 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 I mean, we, went, we started off in bars, and uh, just anybody that would let us come play music, we literally were cold calling bars, saying, hey, can we come play for you? And, well, I guess we'd show up. Sometimes they wouldn't have sound equipment. Sometimes they would. And, uh, sometimes we they just, still don't. Sometimes <laughs> we still don't. But yeah. we just, uh, our early stuff that we wrote was really uh, just fun because we had to walk into bars that had never heard of us and we had to yell at them from stage, stop watching Sports Center and listen to us, please. Mm -hmm. You know, like, so that's kind of what came off early. And then, uh, you know, with Jeff's background in production and, and music, he produced our, our early tracks and then it just, we're, we're stoked about it. So we're, as much as we're looking forward to the full album, mm -hmm. we're super excited about the tracks that we put on our EP. Yeah, the rest of the album is going to show a lot of cool different sides of us. Yes. Yeah. For okay. sure. Yeah. The, the loud, aggressive, fun side is definitely on the EP. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is to come. Yeah. Um, there is more. And speaking of the debut album, tell us a little bit about that. Give us a little bit more information. What can fans expect? And where are you at on that process? Because I know you guys have been in the studio. It's hard to, uh, to record it because we've got to do it in little bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, just traveling so much. And we actually work on it on, on the road, too, as well as uh, at, at my studio. But um, Lil Wayne's been nice enough to let us use his bus, yeah. which has a recording studio in it. <laughs> uh, hey, it's thanks, Lil. Bro. It's Lil. Appreciate that, man. Lil. A little, little, I said Lil Wayne. Lil Bus. It's a little bus. <laughs> Did you know Wayne's my middle name? Did you know that? That's who he's referring to. Like Jack Billy. Uh, <laughs> that was the first one. Um, it's, I think we'll probably have about 12 songs, so a few bonuses that mm -hmm. we'll just throw out. Um, it's, I'm really excited about it, and uh, I think we're all super happy to be able to do such a, you know, an actual full album and, and just show different sides of us and put our best foot forward. And, We've been writing a lot and working hard, and I think it's gonna. I think, we think it's gonna be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Mm -hmm. um, now, last week you guys participated in the 25th anniversary of Country Cares for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Tell us a little bit about that experience and what was that like? Uh, it was awesome. Uh, I'll speak for everybody. I mm -hmm. think on that, it was kind of a game changer kind of thing. Uh, we all knew, you know, knew a lot about St. Jude, but getting to go do it and see it. And, see these people and these kids and all the people that are involved in making St. Jude what it is and, and this big, you know, huge thing of, of people was pretty cool for, I think, for all of us just to be able to be a part of it at all mm -hmm. and definitely came, came away from that with some new perspective on some things for sure. So we, had, I think we all had a blast so for sure. We're happy to be there. I can't wait to go back to 
Yeah, we want to go back. Like we're, we're, we didn't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Cool. Now, 2014 is already off to a great start for you guys. What are some of your goals and some of the things that you're looking forward to throughout this year? We got into this business to not have any goals. <laughs> <laughs> it's music, right? Yeah. Just day by day. It really is in many ways. I mean, uh, we joke sometimes, you know, we, we, we have our schedule, we've been blessed, it has filled up um, and it's continuing to fill up this year. Uh, I think for us, though, we really, in order to maintain uh, the level of enthusiasm and excitement that we want to have every day is to just do today as hard as we can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, tonight we're in Portland and we're, we're super excited. It's our first time to be here and uh, it's a beautiful city. And so we're doing that. And, and wherever we go from there, that's where we're going. We're going to do that too. As hard so, as we can every time. Uh, yeah, I mean, for us, every day is a blessing and it's a gift because in, especially in this industry, you never know. Uh, you're one phone call away from, I guess everybody is, you know, mm -hmm. from, from not knowing where your next paycheck's coming from or where your next anything's coming from. So we're just, and as cliche as it is, we really are just happy to be here. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Um, thanks, for the, for, thanks for that, Patrick. Patrick actually told me. Told you to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, as country newcomers, what has it been like for you having just the country music genre, the industry, the fans <clears throat> embrace you guys and your music? You got it, Patrick. Go, Patrick. It's been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't go on and on. With that. <laughs> I think it for uh, for all of us, I think it's been great to go out and play shows, and each step further we get, we see people singing along to more and more of the songs. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you know, it started with the booze cruise last year. We played it. Nobody had heard it before. Nobody sang along, and then all of a sudden, people started singing it, and it became successful and then get some now the more shows we do the more people we see singing that one and then people that buy the EP they're singing those songs so I think it's great to see that um, the, the fans are really uh, accepting and, mm -hmm. and uh, learning all the words now there's videos on YouTube <laughs> with their kids singing along and mm -hmm. yeah we, really uh, cool. we really are blown away by the fans just in general the passion they have for music mm -hmm. and so they're always out seeing music in a live capacity which is great mm -hmm. They're not just sitting at home on their computers listening to music. They're <clears throat> partying at shows. They're camping out. They're showing up. We're seeing multiple, you know, same people show up in different cities, and, and that's all. They, that's what they friends. do for fun. I mean, they just they yeah. love to see music. It's yeah. Turn, it, they're not. I mean, they're not fans as as more as they are friends. Mm -hmm. as more as they are. Um, and that's, Mississippi uh, that's a testament. Yeah. <laughs> that's a testament to the type of people that love country music. There's no doubt that they're the most engaging and hospitable and most fun group of people that to be around which is why we play country music. And I think it's cool so to see cool. Uh, uh, I'll go ahead. No, you go. I just say, I think I'll it's really cool to see. Saying, I'll go ahead and say that you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool to see some of the same people come to mm -hmm. different gigs. You know, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll play in, in Iowa and then you play in Kansas and you play in Oklahoma and you say, oh, there's, you know, Bill and there's whoever and Man. They're, they're traveling and it's kind of fun. It's like a little family. Sure. Thing, yeah. So. Now, as new artists, what one thing would you like to con convey to country mu music fans about you and your music? One thing? One thing. Just, just one just thing. One yeah. thing. Can you repeat the question? Just take a listen. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> Honestly, yeah. I, I would say that uh, most of the fans we have now have gravitated towards what they heard on satellite radio or what they heard about a friend coming to a crazy uh -huh. show where Patrick's climbing the rafters and Jeff's just crowd surfing or whatever. Stage. I mean, honestly, <laughs> yeah. But honestly, I mean, we got together as songwriters. And so our true passion, mm -hmm. our heart lies in making the best songs that we can possibly make. And I think I would want to say to all the fans, like, wait till the album comes out. Come see a show where we have more than, you know, 30 minute opening slot or whatever mm -hmm. to where we can share some of the songs that really stretch out we, like that. Yeah. we love so much and that we, you know, bleed for and, and can't wait to show that we can do those songs. I think we kind of, and I love our reputation, but I think we definitely have a reputation as a raising hell mm -hmm. group, but when the time comes, we want to be ready to uh, expose the softer side of the rest of these guys. I'm, I'm still going <laughs> to do uh, We do enjoy a little hell raising us. Oh, yeah. Well, Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and finally, music is consistently evolving, especially country music. For each one of you, in your own opinion, what would you, what do you say sets country music apart? Fans. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. fans, but also I think it's really the only genre right now that's a little more open. You know? Yeah. Uh, I would say uh, if you want to rock out mm -hmm. now, you could do it in country. If you want to show a real sensitive singer-songwriter side, you could do it in country. If you want to be really commercial and poppy, you could do it. You do it in country. It's it's pretty open, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. And, and I think it's because of I think it's because, because the, fans the fans are willing. Yeah. They'll listen to anything that's that's <coughs> good. You mm -hmm. know, they're willing to expand. They're not, you know, there there are plenty of folks that that like all different genres, and they will not bend off of that. But Absolutely. I know the folks that come to see our shows. We get a lot of people saying, "I don't like country music, but y'all y'all are great." Or exactly, yeah. you know, yeah. or we're like, well, vice versa. Do like country music. Yeah, we're like, "Sorry, buddy." <laughs> right, and it's like country is changing a little into different it dips into it's different great. genres now. It's so great. it's like it's that's taking from all genres. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is awesome. If we knew that. I knew that was coming in yeah. high school. You know, you yeah. get in your buddy's pickup truck, and he's got Garth Brooks Double Live, and then he's got Tupac's Greatest Hits. It's, it's like it's just good music. It's good music. Yeah. Right. So wherever it goes, love being a part of it. Well, awesome. Well, thank you guys for taking the time. That's it. Oh, Is that easy enough? You don't want to see us dance? What? Oh, well, no, if, you guys, no if you guys have some moves to bust. <laughs> we have a couple questions for you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Okay. No, but seriously, thanks for taking the time to catch up thank and you wish you the time. best yeah. of luck with the EP, the we'll fourth album. Yes. All right. Definitely. Killer. Cool. Thanks, y'all. Um, Bye.